big news that uh, England will be using St George's Park from here on in. Yeah, a bit of a change for our programme. You know, Loughborough has been so successful for us. We've, um, you know, we've really created an identity for the England programme there. Uh, the facilities of Catsby Kiley of what Loughborough has provided us over the last few years. But the opportunity to, to improve our programme, to take that next step, that next progression and move into St George's Park has presented itself. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, we're really happy to take that opportunity and, and work alongside a lot of the national sports what work out of uh, this facility. So we're really privileged in the fact that we have lots of different elite sports using our training facilities um, but it will be the first time that we'll have the rugby league team here for um, a prolonged training camp so we're really excited about that um, and it's great to walk around with them and them to be excited about coming and sharing and using our facilities. Obviously we're showing them around here today and we've got the under 21s training so they're, they're watching a bit of their session at the moment which is great to see kind of sports coming together. Yeah it's absolutely to try and make sure that we're the best prepared that we possibly can, continue to strive to look for areas where we can make improvements and innovations into the programme and uh, ultimately then gives us the best chance for the performance on the field. So St George's Park was built two and a half years ago. Um, it's a training home for all 24 England teams and where we deliver all our coach education. Um, but we also open up the facilities for other football clubs, international football, but also other elite sports to come and share the amazing facilities that we've got here. It's fantastic that we can have rugby league here. We've had rugby union previously um, during their Six Nations campaign. Um, so to have the team here during their tournament is, is wonderful. Um, I think they'll really enjoy using the facilities. And one of the unique things about St George's Park is that everything is all under one roof. The hotel bedrooms are close walking proximity to the dressing rooms, the performance centre, the pitches. So if you do have an injured player or a player that you need to do some, some work in the gym with, everyone's very much a closed unit when they're here. It's a real training camp environment. We really do hang our hats on having one of the best training facilities in the country, if not in the world. And I suppose it's unique in the fact that we do invite other teams, other sports to come in and share the facilities that we've got, whereas I suppose other training centres can be quite closed and, and not available for other teams to use. It's a one-stop shop, it's, you know, the facilities are world-class, like we said, the hotels are on site, um, everything we actually need is on site, Every, everything is covered uh, for every aspect, you know, if the weather's bad we've got heated pitches, if the, if the weather's that bad we can train inside and on full-size pitches and uh, the sport size provisions are as you can imagine from a facility what spent so much money in developing it, uh, probably the best in the world. We're playing the number one team in the world now in terms of New Zealand uh, and you can't get a better challenge than that. Uh, a test series, three matches, consecutive matches over consecutive weekends. It's not been done for an England national team for a long period of time and so we're looking forward to it. We're, we're set, we're ready, you know, we've uh, all got all the plans in place. You know, this is a huge part of our piece of our jigsaw for ourselves in terms of um, being successful at the end of the season. Um, and the players, I'm sure, will benefit and reap the benefits of being involved here.